The Manwa begins, and we are told, it's been twenty years since the demons came to this world. They are brutal and are the cause of countless disasters. A large number of humans became food for the demons. In order to survive, some humans with mutated bodies and awakened powers began to fight back against the demons. Nowadays, the profession of fighting, hunting and killing demons has been formed. They are known as, hunters, in order to allow more humans to fight against demons, and academies for training hunters have been established in various places. The Xia Dongzhou Hunter Academy Here, those who have the power are welcome with a high status. But I, Fang Cheng, had no talent at all. I've been practicing at the academy for three years already, but I still haven't awakened any of my powers. I am called, the weakest in the academy. And now, I didn't realize it was almost graduation, and I was still being bullied. And some boys together are beating Fang Chang, and one of them says, the academy's rule is that if you don't become a hunter, you can't graduate. This guy hasn't awakened his powers yet, so he can't be a hunter. He'll have to repeat the year. But Fang Chang says to that boy, Chen Tianil. Don't think you're great just because you've awakened your powers. And after hearing what Fang Chang said, the boy gets angry, and he was about to beat Fang Chang again. But then someone comes there and throws those three boys away. And she comes forward and says, Is it fun to bully your classmates? You guys are so boring. And seeing Lin Long Yun, Fang Chang thinks, it's Lin Long Yu, our class president, the strongest person in the academy. She's also my childhood friend who I grew up with. And now that boy stands up and says to Lin Long Yun that you are helping this useless man. But Lin Long Yun tells him, if you do not leave from here then I will kill you right here and by saying this she shows her power. And all three ran away scared of Lin Long Yun. Then Fang Chang thanks Lin Long Yun, and Lin Long Yun says to Fang Chang, graduation exams are in a month. Yet you still haven't awakened any powers. Are you going to repeat it? But Fang Chang says, it's impossible to repeat. My condition does not allow it at all. And Fang Chang thinks to himself, five years ago, her parents died in a demon attack, and since then, my sister has taken on the responsibility of the family. In order to provide for my tuition, she works and needs to live by calculating every penny. Now, it's impossible to make her pay for it. And then Fang Chang says to Lin Long Yun, if I don't awaken my power as a hunter, I'll quit the academy. And Lin Long Yun gets angry after listening to Fang Chang. And she says don't say this again, you can't give up, there's still a month left before the graduation exams. You will be able to awaken your powers. If you don't awaken your hunter's power before the graduation hunter's exams, then you'll be an incompetent loser for the rest of your life. And now Lin Long Yun starts leaving from there and Fang Chang thinks, Lin Long Yu is still as blunt, just as she was as a child. However, since there's no way back, I'll fight to the end. After some time, now Fang Chang is running very fast and thinking, I can dash 20 kilometers to reach home. Even if I'm the weakest in the academy, why can't I awaken my powers? I want to be an elite like Lin Long Yu. Double the training. If I realize my body's potential, I'll be able to awaken my powers. And as Fang Chang goes ahead, he sees some people who are very nervous. The place has been attacked by demons, and everyone is running away in fear. And when he looks ahead he sees a girl. And there is a demon in front of that girl who is about to kill that girl. And seeing this Fang Chang gets scared and thinks, that monster. It's the city's most wanted D-class demon, Blade. And then that demon attacks the girl. But at the right time Fang Chang saves the girl from the attack of that demon, I must be crazy. I couldn't resist trying to save someone. But that demon attacks Fang Chang very fast. And Fang Chang gets hurt a lot, and seeing this the little girl gets very scared, but Fang Chang asks the girl to run away and the girl says that I will find someone who can save you. 
But this is impossible now because the demon has again attacked Fang Chang. And throws him away, Fang Chang is bleeding profusely from his mouth and there is a hole in his chest, I'm stupid to think that a mere human can be a hero. And that demon injures Fang Chang. Seeing this he is laughing a lot and Fang Chang is thinking. You bastard. This demon is laughing. I'm afraid I'm already a meal in its eyes. There has to be a chance to fight back. And that demon throws Fang Chang into the ground. Is this the difference of power? I feel so miserable. It would be a shame to die like this. I haven't become a hunter yet. I haven't become as strong as Lin Longyu. I haven't yet given my sister a better life. I want to live, I want to kill that blade. And then Fang Chang hears a dangerous voice, you've awakened a strong desire to kill before you die. You have triggered the hidden condition to merge with the demon slayer. Your life is coming to an end. Do you wish to merge with the demon slayer? But Fang Chang is very confusing. Where am I? Who's talking? What does it mean to merge with a demon slayer? And then many hands start clutching Fang Chang. And Fang Chang doesn't understand anything and doesn't know which place is this? Is this the afterlife? And he hears the same voice again and he says, Danger warning. Ten seconds left of your life. Do you wish to merge with the demon slayer? And Fang Chang doesn't have any other choice anymore. And anyway, he has just got a chance, so he accepts the words of that voice and merges with the demon. Merge successful. You have gained the power of the demon slayer. And then the demon feels something and Fang Chang pushes the demon away with great force. And when he sees the demon Fang Chang, he gets very scared because now Fang Chang has transformed into a demon. And Fang Chang hears a voice, demon slayer form is activated. And Fang Chang doesn't believe that he has become a demon and he thinks, my brain feels like it cracked open. I will faint any time. And now that demon moves towards Fang Chang to attack rapidly, and Fang Chang hears the voice again. Kill your enemy. And as soon as the demon attacks Fang Chang, Fang Chang stops his attack with one of his hands. And throws that demon away, and that demon does not understand how a human became so powerful. Then Fang Chang grabs the demon's neck and starts beating him again, causing a lot of pain to the demon. But still that demon attacks Fang Chang again, but now Fang Chang finds the attack of that demon very slow because Fang Chang's power has increased. And Fang Chang punches that demon due to which the demon goes away and falls. And two people are watching all this from a distance, these people do not understand why one demon is killing another demon. And when Fang Chang sees both of them, they both get scared. And Fang Chang again hears a voice saying that two humans have seen you. Kill them. And Fang Chang thinks, the strange voice appeared from my head again. Fang Chang hears the same voice again and again but Fang Chang says to both of them, you two, if you don't want to die, get out of here. And after hearing this, both of them ran away from that place very fast. And now that demon arises again and Fang Chang thinks, even after merging with the demon slayer I'll keep my humanity. And Fang Chang attacks that demon with his fist and kills him very badly, and as soon as Fang Chang has killed that demon, he again hears the voice, you killed the demon blade. Plundered the opponent's ability, hand sword. And after hearing this, Fang Chang understands, when you kill an enemy, you plunder its fighting power? This so-called demon slayer. Does it mean becoming stronger by killing and plundering? I've been trying so hard to awaken my abilities, but nothing seems to work. But when I fused with the demon slayer, I unlocked my first ability by killing enemies. And now Fang Chang comes back to his original form, it seems like when I'm not thinking of fighting, I'll return to human form. The noise of this fight was loud, some hunters will surely hear it. If they find out the secret of Demon Slayer, I'll be arrested for research. I have to get out of here. I can't reveal my identity. After this, Fang Chang comes to his home. And at home his sister asks, 
why did you come so late? And are you hurt? But Fong Chang says that there is no need for you to take tension, I am fine. When I was coming home on the way, a demon attacked me but I ran away from there in a hurry. But my clothes got torn. And Fong Chang thinks, luckily, my injuries healed automatically after I fused with the demon slayer and hearing this, Fong Chang's sister says that you should be careful. Don't you know our mom and dad were killed by demons? When they were coming home after work. And Fong Chang also says, yes I know. But there is no need for you to take tension. After this his sister says, there is no use remembering bad things, let's have dinner. After this, Fong Chang gets ready and eats the food, he likes the dinner very much and Fong Chang asks his sister, have you eaten the food? So his sister says, I ate. Something at the convenience store where I work. But Fong Chang says, you're always like this. Leaving the expensive food for me and not thinking about yourself. Can't you just take care of yourself? I don't want it. I'll happily do it. But Fong Chang's sister says, you are my real brother, my only family. You're the only person I care about in this world. And Fong Chang says, sister, don't worry. It'll make money from now on. I'll change this home and give you a better life. And after listening to Fong Chang, his sister becomes happy and says, you can do it, Fong Cheng. I believe in you. You continue eating, I'll get my chores done. And Fong Cheng's sister thinks, Fong Cheng seems more mature than before. Looks like he's really grown up. I hope he can graduate and become a qualified hunter. After some time, Fong Chang comes to his room and thinks about tomorrow. Tomorrow is the weekend. Taking advantage of the time off, I'm going to hunt demons to make money. I'll log into the official software of the Hunter's Union. You can see the wanted information of various demons here. And when he checks on his mobile, he finds something, an abandoned office park, Piranha Octopus, E-Class. The bounty is 3,000 yuan per demon. All hunters are welcome to participate. This information will be valid for a long time. And after knowing this, Fang Chang thinks the office park 10 kilometers away is good, they are all E-class demons, you can earn 3,000 elan each. It should be much easier to fight with the ability of Demon Slayer. But, killing demons in Demon Slayer form is like a time bomb, it's always trying to control my mind like a parasite. If I don't utilize it properly, it will take over my body, there's nothing easy in this world. I don't care about that anymore, let's make some money and support my family. After this, we are shown the scene of the place where Fang Chang has killed that demon. Some hunters have come to that place who are investigating. And one hunter asks, did you check the neighborhood cameras? So the second hunter explains, when the demon blade appeared, the cameras in the neighborhood were damaged, leaving no clues. Hearing him, hunter says, Go collect witnesses and investigate clues. We must find out who killed the devil blade. And now the hunter thinks, an ordinary hunter can't break a D-class demon blade. From the traces of the fight scene, it's very likely that the other party also a demon. And now Fang Chang reaches a place, he looks around and thinks, unexpectedly, the place where office workers used to work has become like this now. It's the body of a hunter, it also doesn't look like he's been dead for a long time. There are hollow wounds in the chest cavity. The internal organs must have been a dangerous aura. Eaten by demons. And octopus demons appear in front of Fang Chang and seeing them Fang Chang now gets ready to fight, they finally appeared. E-class, octopus demon. This kind of parasitic demon on human corpses is quite difficult to deal with and the octopus demons attack Fang Chang but Fang Chang survives their attack and retreats. And looking at them he thinks. After merging the demon slayer ability, even in its human form, I can easily maneuver my body. I can even control the demonic aura. And again Fang Chang hears the voice, enemy attack detected. Automatically activated hand swerp ability, and after hearing this, 
Fang Chang gets a little confused, automatically activated? It's like an AI program. Let's test how powerful these hand swords are in human form. And Fang Chang attacks those octopus demons and starts killing them one by one, breaking them into many small pieces. But there are so many octopus demons in the place, there's no ability to plunder from an octopus monster, it seems that there is no benefit in killing E-class demons. What's that? And as soon as Fang Chang looks ahead, there are a lot of octopus demons standing in front of him which are all ready to kill Fang Chang, looks like those three octopus demons were just bait. These octopuses are endless. And the octopus demons again attack Fang Chang, and Fang Chang barely escapes their attacks. And giving them tough competition, there are still so many of them. I'm afraid I've attacked the octopus demon's nest. I can't keep up. I'm only at E-class if I don't transform into a demon slayer after all, so I'll be easily surrounded and killed. Fang Chang now starts running away from that place but then a tentacle catches his leg which is a danger sign for Fang Chang. And another octopus demon comes to that place and says, let's see which one of you got caught in the trap. It's just a small shrimp, it's not even enough to fit between my teeth. And this demon is, D-class demon vice octopus. And seeing him, Fang Chang thinks, it's a D-class demon. But its aura is much stronger than blades. And that vice demon orders his companions to kill Fang Chang. And hearing this, Fang Chang thinks, if this continues, they'll eat me alive. And Fang Chang again hears the same mysterious voice which says kill the enemy. Kill the enemy. Demon Slayer, from Activated. And Fang Chang transforms again, since I was forced to use this damn transformation form. Then you must feel the intense pain of being killed. Fang Chang starts killing that octopus demon very badly and seeing this the vice octopus demon gets shocked, a human who can turn into a demon? Interesting. But Fang Chang says, I thought I could fight a few ordinary E-class demons to earn money. I didn't think I'd be able to fulfill this simple wish. And the vice demon says, you have got a demon's body, but you don't know what it is, the body where an ant lives. That's funny. But Fang Chang says, a demon like you, who thinks he's above the world. How can you understand? How can a demon like you understand how hard it is for a human being to survive? But this doesn't matter to the octopus demon, not bad. You actually know a few tricks. Too bad. You're too slow. And the octopus demon grabs Fang Chang, I'll destroy those double swords you are so proud of, then I'll see what you use to fight me. And Fang Chang thinks, damn. After the hand sword is destroyed, it cannot be used again for a short time. And now the vice demon attacks Fang Chang again and again, weaklings only deserve to be ravaged. This is a bloody reality. And throws Fang Chang away and Fang Chang stands again and thinks, this vice octopus is smarter than the blade I fought before. It's more cautious, good at mid-range rather than head-on confrontation, I need to find its weaknesses and kill it. But the vice octopus demon attacks Fang Chang again. And then Fang Chang comes to know about the weakness of that vice octopus demon. Its eyes are soft, they should be its weak point. Throwing sand in the eyes is an effective means of fighting here. It can often be a good surprise attack. It's not very bright, but it might work against Vice Octopus. And Fang Chang attacks the eyes of that octopus demon with his feet, against a demon like you, I should deal with you by any means necessary. And the Vice Octopus demon feels a lot of pain and Fang Chang thinks, how can he separate the brain from his body? Don't try to run away and attacks him with a spear but the vice octopus demon is still alive and thinks, luckily, my brain wasn't completely destroyed, I need to play dead for a while to regain its vitality. Stupid humans, wait for me to kill. But Fang Chang says, don't let your guard down, not even with a fallen enemy. It must be properly dealt with. And again the octopus demon attacks Fang Chang but Fang Chang kills him. And again he hears that strange sound, you have killed the vice octopus. 
You have plundered the opponent's ability dash, tentacle. And Fang Chang thinks, what a strange ability. But, it can be used to fight enemies or as a rope to climb up high when it's extended. And Fang Chang comes back to its original form. It's really not easy to win. Fortunately, I killed a D-rank vice octopus, this monster must be worth a lot more than a normal octopus monster. And Fang Chang now comes to a different place in things, I should have known not to save on transportation costs. The octopus vice man's body is really heavy, other vice I would have taken a cab. If I'm not mistaken. This is the hunter guild to receive the bounty. And now Fang Chang comes inside the hunter union building and thinks, it's quite crowded, and there seems to be a lot of professional bounty hunting. And then someone says to Fang Chang, the head on this guy's back looks like D-class demon, vice octopus. It's on it. And Fang Chang thinks it's the inspectors of the hunter union, and they were actually talking about me. And both of those men come in front of Fang Chang and say to Fang Chang, how could a seemingly powerless student kill a D-class demon? He must have stolen someone else's prey. But Fang Chang asks them, can't students fight demons? But they both say, since you are so confident, prove it, show me your hunter's license. Listening to both of them, Fang Chang thinks, according to the rules of the union, inspectors are not authorized to look at other licenses. These two guys are just trying to make things difficult. Then both of them move forward to attack Fang Chang and say, this kid panicked, he must be a stolen prey. Seize his prey. But Fang Chang steps back and seeing this, a man in the crowd thinks, he's carrying a heavy load, and he's still able to dodge the two men blocking him? Looks like he's no ordinary student. And now again they move forward to attack Fang Chang but this time Fang Chang starts beating them, and Fang Chang makes one man fall on the ground and while avoiding the attack of the other man, Fang Chang also makes him fall on the ground slams and everyone becomes happy seeing that Fang Chang has defeated both of them very easily. And then the same man comes forward from the crowd and says, the fight is over. I saw everything that happened. This kid with black hair, he has the power to kill a D-class demon. And there's this guy, Hunter's Union, Vice President. Zhou Tai. And then both those men stand up again and say to the Vice President, Vice President. He's causing trouble, please take action. This kid has no eyes, he's wild in Hunter's Union. But the Vice President says to both of them, you have no eyes, you can't see the strength of other people. You look for trouble first, and still want to report it? No buts. You two are fired. The hunter's union doesn't feed fools. And then the vice president says to Fang Chang, you are very skilled, should you have some outstanding hunter ability, right? But Fang Chang gets a little confused and says, actually, I don't have any hunter abilities. And Fang Chang thinks, I can't let outsiders know about my ability as a demon slayer. And everyone gets surprised after listening to Fang Chang that Fang Chang does not have any ability. But these people think how it is possible that Fang Chang has killed such a big monster. But the vice president says to Fang Chang, I believe you. Let's go, I'll take you to claim the reward. And a few moments later, a girl checks the demons brought by Fang Chang and says, My name is Xiao Nan, and I am the union officer in charge of exchanging bounce. And Fang Chang hearing this thinks, terrific telekinesis ability of telekinesis, she can even carry heavy corpses with ease. And the vice president says, from now on, if you want to collect the reward, just come to Xiao Nan directly, no need to Kali up. And Xiao Nan is still single, so you two might as well talk. And Fang Chang says, okay. Thank you, vice president. I obviously have no ability. I'm just an ordinary student. But the vice president says, I appreciate you because we're of the same kind. I have no hunter ability like you. But I, Zhou Tai, worked hard, constantly honed my physical body. I learned fighting and forging, and surpassed most of the hunters. To be stronger. And hearing the words of the vice president, 
Fang Chong gets surprised and thinks, Zhou Tai became the vice president of the Hunter Union by just relying on his physical body and fighting skills. It's really extraordinary. After that, Xiao Nan said, calculated. D-class vice octopus reward is 100,000 elon. 10 E-class octopus monsters reward is 30,000 elon, and an incentive bonus of 10,000 elon. A total of 140,000 elon, it has been transferred to your bank card dash. And Fang Chang thanks Xiao Nan and thinks, I've made so much money for the first time. Then the vice president says to Fang Chang, looking at your fight today, your skills are still rough, next time you come back, give me a call and I'll teach you some moves. And Fang Chang says thank you to the vice president and Xiao Nan thinks, boring. All men know is fighting and practice. That Fang Cheng is so handsome I don't know what his type is. After this, Fang Chang calms down and thinks, Zhou Tai is a talented senior, and I can learn from him if I have the but the the most important thing right now is to go back and tell my sister that the younger brother she had high hopes for has made money. Opportunity in the future. And now Fang Chang is going home and thinking, the first pot of money in my life. Sister will be very happy to know that. And as Fang Chang is going ahead, he hears something and when he looks carefully, a news anchor on TV is telling something, recently, a video of two demons fighting each other exploded on the internet. Demon fighting his own kind is called a demon lord. One of the demons was called the demon lord by netizens. And Fang Chang gets very surprised after hearing this, isn't it my previous fight with the blade? Who uploaded the video on the internet? The point is, it's on the news. And it is told in the news, regarding this incident, our reporter interviewed the deputy leader of the demon hunter department, Lone Wolf. Demons were never friendly creatures, so please be careful. We, the demon hunters department, are here to hunt down this demon Lord J. And give him a death sentence. And hearing this, Fang Chang gets a little nervous and people around start talking, I heard that the blue demon known as the Eye Demon Lord I fought with its own kind to save humans. How can a demon save a human? If demons really help humans, they shouldn't be called Demon Lord J, they should be called heroes. And Fang Chang thinks my morph has already aroused the public. Being famous is definitely not a good thing, I can't reveal my identity. Other vice, I will get in trouble. After this, Fang Chang comes to his home and asks his sister what is there for dinner today and Fang Chang's sister says that you have finally come. It is big news so Fang Chang asks what? So his sister tells, I saw a video on the internet, and there's a monster called the Demon Lord J. You have to be careful on your way home. Then Fang Chang thought, no way. Even my sister knows about this. And Fang Chang says, don't care about those videos. This bank card contains 140,000 elon I earned. That money is from hunting demons. After practicing, I am much stronger than before and can now kill demons. And Fang Chang's sister asks, so, you have awakened your hunter powers? Were you hurt? Fighting demons is dangerous, right? And she thinks, it's hard to imagine how much Fang Cheng suffered. And Fang Chang says, Sis I'm fine, just take the money. And Fang Chang's sister says, All right then, I'll use this money to pay off our debts. After our parents died, we borrowed a lot of money from our relatives. And Fang Chang says, Speaking of our parents. Do you know which demon killed them back then? And Fang Chang's sister says, This has always been a mystery. According to the information left behind, the killer was a mysterious demon in the form of a flame. After burning our parents and the others in the street, it disappeared from Dongzhou City and its whereabouts are still unknown. That's all I know. Hearing his sister's words, Fang Chang this demon is something else. When I'm strong enough, I must take revenge. An experienced hunter like Zhou Tai of Hunter Union may know the truth. I must visit him when I have the chance. And Fang Chang's sister says, we don't have the strength to take revenge yet, 
we just need to live peacefully together. And now the next day, Fang Chang is running very fast and thinking, fuck. I'm late. I was so busy making money yesterday that I forgot I had classes today. And very quickly Fang Chang enters his class but everyone in his class is talking about yesterday's news and says. Recently, the video of Demon Lord John Line became quite popular. I saw it on the news, that blue demon is so brave. A demon who saves humans with a sense of justice can be called a demon lord. Hearing his words, Fang Chang thinks, even my classmates know it? My life feels tiring. I'm really not a demon lord. And then someone calls Fang Chang from behind and it is Lin Long Yun and says to Fang Chang, you seem to be a bit stronger than the last two days. But Fang Chang says smilingly, you must be hallucinating. And Fang Chang thinks Long Guile's intuition is really sharp. And then the same bullying children come to that place and say to Fang Chang, the lovebirds are chatting early in the morning. And seeing all three of them, Lin Long Yun says to them, I guess the lesson I taught you the other day was light. But Fang Chang tells Lin Long Yun, Long Guile, you don't need to care about them, it's just a golden retriever. And after listening to Fang Chang, Chen Tianyu gets angry and says, What do you think? Lin Long Yun is with you so I can't beat you? Chen Tianyu throws something towards Fang Chang which is rapidly moving towards Fang Chang, but Fang Chang catches that thing and then quickly attacks Chen Tianyu. And Fang Chang throws Chen Tianyu on the ground which makes Chen Tianyu very angry and again Chen Tianyu moves forward to attack Fang Chang but Fang Chang avoids his punch and quickly hits him with his fist. Attacks the stomach. So that Chen Tianyu falls very far. Then Chen Tianyu is unable to understand how Fang Chang's power has increased so much. And Fang Chang Chen tells Tianyu, today is different from the past. When you used to bully others, you should have thought about the day you'd pay the price. And Fang Chang's classmates are also surprised that Fang Chang has become powerful so quickly and Lin Long Yun is also surprised to see this and thinks, in theory, even if Fang Cheng trained in private and learned combat skills. He couldn't beat Chen Tianyu. His punches and kicks are strong, did he awaken some kind of body strengthening ability? And then the teacher comes to that place and says to everyone, follow me outside, the academy is organizing a demon hunting test today. And all the students get surprised after listening to the teacher and Chen Tianyu again starts threatening Fang Chang and says that I was not ready yet, but you wait for me, I will definitely take my revenge from you. And listening to her words, Fang Chang thinks, Chen Tianyu is really wicked, he's a tough opponent. When I get the chance, I need to get rid of him. And after this all the students come near a big gate and the teacher says to them. We don't have much time left for the hunter graduation exam. In order to stimulate your potential and get good grades, the academy has organized this demon hunting test. When you enter the back of the mountain, you'll face an F-class grass demon, if you kill it, you can absorb the essence from its corpse, which has the effect of stimulating your potential. And after listening to the teacher's words, all the students become happy because together they can fight those monsters. Because those monsters have power. And Lin Long Yun says to Fang Chang. Fang Cheng, what do you think of this trial? And Fang Chang says, it's not the F-class demons that are dangerous, it's the students who are competing with each other. We have to be careful. And now that big gate is opened and all the students quickly go inside that gate. And now all the students have come inside the gate where human skeletons are lying and seeing this Lin Long Yun says, what's so cool about dead people's bones? And Fang Chang says, logically speaking, F-class grass demons are very weak and generally have difficulty killing humans. And then Fang Chang feels something that they are coming and Lin Long Yun looks back and sees some beasts there, and Lin Long Yun thinks. That's unusual. Did they come already? And Lin Long Yun says to Fang Chang, Fang Cheng, hide behind me. You can't fight with so many grass demons. But Fang Chang says let me do it and then Fang Chang quickly attacks those demons and two monsters move towards Lin Long Yun to attack her. 
And Fang Chang sees this and quickly kills both of those monsters and seeing this Lin Long Yun gets surprised and thinks, is this still the usual submissive Fang Cheng? Compared to the blade and the vice octopus I met earlier, these F-ranked grass demons are much weaker. And Lin Long Yun says to Fang Chang, how did you get so strong in just a few days? You're not the same at all. And Fang Chang says, people change, don't think too much. First, let's absorb the essence dropped by the grass demon. And after this, when Lin Long Yun looks towards the front, she gets a little shocked because two people are running very fast from the front, there is a demon behind them and seeing this Lin Long Yun says, I didn't realize there were other demons, I'll do it this time. And Fang Chang says, wait a minute. This is no ordinary demon. That's a D-class tree demon. And seeing that demon Lin Long Yun says, why is there a D-rank demon in an E-rank trial site? And Fang Chang says, now is not the time to cry over it. Stay away from this guy. And Lin Long Yun thinks this is the first time Fang Cheng has ever touched me. And then all three of them come there, and tell Fang Chang that only the coward runs away, a true hunter must face demons, life and death head on. And all three of them move towards the demon and Lin Long Yun looking at all three of them asks Fang Chang, did you beat Chen Tianyu's brains out? And Chen Tianyu says, a bunch of frogs in a well today I'll show you what it means to kill high-level monsters. And want Lin Longyue to see my strength and make Fang Cheng feel like he's out of my league. And Fang Cheng's servants are secretly watching all this from a distance. And those people are wondering, will Chen Tianyu really defeat them, that is a D-rank demon. Chen Tianyu is confident. He must have the strength to kill that tree demon. Maybe a miracle will happen. Then Chen Tianyu moves forward to attack the demon but the demon does not care and the demon catches the boy and throws him on the ground. Seeing this, Chen Tianyu's friends get scared and Chen Tianyu asks them, what are you guys doing? Help me. But then that demon attacks Chen Tianyu again and throws all three of them away and all this happens. Lin Long Yun is watching from a distance and says, Chen Tianyu has the strength of an average year rank, but he's not strong enough to fight a tree demon. And Fang Chang says. The level gap is big. And Chen Tianyu's condition becomes very bad and the demon is very happy and now both Lin Long Yun and Fang Chang are moving towards that demon and Lin Long Yun says, let's. Care of the tree demon. We can get a lot of materials from killing it. And Fang Chang says, D-rank demons are great prey, so we can't give them away. And all of Fang Chang's classmates are running away in fear. Is Fang Cheng and Lin Longyue planning to deal with the tree demon? Let's go find a professor and ask him to help us. Boss, let's get out of here. We're no match for the tree demon. Let me go. I'd rather die than be protected by Fang Cheng and Lin Longyue. Then after this, Lin Longyun attacks the demon but the demon does not care about it and seeing this Lin Longyun thinks, my wind energy can't even scratch the tree demon? The tree demon's body is hardened with dead wood, like armor. The only way to break it is to find a hole in it. And the demon makes an attack which is very powerful and Fang Chang gets hit by that attack and says, in human form, I can't beat the tree demon. And with Longyue around. I can't even transform into my demonic form. And Lin Longyun goes to save Fang Chang but then the same demon appears in front of her and Lin Longyun thinks, my strength is at least an E-rank, but I can't even hurt its bark. And then Fang Chang starts running away from Lin Longyun because even together they will not be able to defeat him. But the demon attacks them again and Fang Chang gets trapped and tells Lin Longyun not to worry about me, just go away from here. But Lin Longyun does not want to leave Fang Chang and now Fang Chang is trapped at that place and Lin Longyun says you just wait for a while, I will break this wooden trap and save you easily. But Fang Chang has a different plan and he thinks. Before Longyue breaks the wood prison, I must take it down. And that demon again attacks Fang Chang but Fang Chang attacks that demon, woodcutter. Activate killing knives. 
and cuts off the demon's hands but it doesn't make any difference to the demon because he regenerates his hands again and attacks Fong Chong again. And seeing this Fong Chong thinks it has regeneration ability. While it's recovering, I need to find a way to kill it quickly. And Fong Chong again attacks the demon and still the demon does not care about Fong Chang's attack and the demon attacks Fong Chong again and only then Fong Chong gets a chance, now. There's a gap in the movements, perfect time to counterattack. Tentacle plus blade. Fusion skill. And seeing this attack the demon gets scared and directly cuts the blade of that demon, and Fong Chang kills that demon and thinks that it is over. And then he hears the same strange voice, you have killed the eye tree demon. Obtained, thorn, skill. Obtain an additional, accelerated regeneration, skill. And Fong Chang thinks, in addition to the exact ability, I also gained an additional regeneration skill this time. Tree demon's essence? This is the best material for stimulating potential, it's perfect for me. And then there is a blast due to which Fong Chang gets a little scared and Lin Long Yun appears in front of him and says, Fong Cheng, hold on. I'm coming to save you. But when she looks ahead, Fong Chang is fine and Lin Long Yun says, you killed the tree demon. And Fong Chang says, I must have awakened a body strengthening ability. I seem much stronger than before. The tree demon got careless and I defeated him in a few moves. And Lin Long Yun says, but you were just an ordinary man without any talent before. You've become so strong in just a few days, unbelievable. And Fang Chang does, it's just D-rank strength, not really impressive. There are still A-rank and S-rank awakeners in the world. Compared to them, we're not even close and not worth mentioning. And Lin Long Yun says, makes sense. Perhaps my perspective is low. Come on, let's leave the forest first. Then after that the teacher says to all the students, Today, I'd like to praise the class president Lin Longyue and Fang Cheng. They fought bravely against the tree demon in the trial and never backed down. And the teacher says nothing, all the students get surprised and say, Fang Cheng was just a bystander, does he deserve to be praised by the instructor? Most of the credit goes to Lin Longyue, right? What's the point of verbal praise, when there's no reward? And Chen Tianyu thinks, that cheap bastard Fang Cheng. I should have been the one to kill the tree demon. And then someone comes there and says, Fang Cheng is from your class, right? Someone's looking for him. And Fang Chang thinks, who would come to me except for my sister? I have a bad feeling about this. And after this we are shown the lone wolf and a man tells him that he has come here. He looks ahead and Fong Chang asks, that white, haired man is. Lone wolf, deputy leader of the demon hunter department, who appeared on Tai last time. Did the information about my demon transformation leak out? Forget it. There's no use worrying about it now. I'm trying to stay in my human form, so I'll be fine. Then the lone wolf asks Fang Chang, you're here pretty fast, you're Fang Cheng, right? And Fang Chang says, yes, why is a demon hunter looking for me? And the lone wolf says, there's a tip-off from the public. Four days ago, a teenager saved a little girl from a demon blade. And we've been able to trace the profile. We found out it was you who saved the little girl. And Fang Chang laughingly replies, it's a small matter. Bravery is a traditional virtue of our country after all. But the lone wolf says, but do you know? After you saved the little girl, a blue demon killed that demon blade? And Fang Chang gets shocked after listening to the lone wolf and doesn't know what to say. Fang Cheng tells the lone wolf, it turned out to be the blue demon. I know, it was on the TV news. It's also known as the Demon Lord. And Long Yue is secretly listening to both of them. And wondering, how did Fang Cheng get involved with the people from the Demon Hunting Union? And the Lone Wolf says, judging by the timing, you and that Demon Lord must have met. So, can you tell me what happened? And Fang Cheng says, yes, we did meet. 
He came there after I saved that girl, I was seriously injured then. It fought with the demon blade while I watched from the shadows. And the lone wolf asks Fang Cheng, where did it go after killing the demon blade? So Fang Cheng says, after the fight, the demon lord left the scene and disappeared. And lone wolf doubts Fang Cheng's words and says, but I've checked a lot of cameras. No trace of the demon lord was there at all. There's only one answer. The demon lord did not leave the scene at that time. Instead, he merged with you. And Lone Wolf captures Fang Cheng using his summoning ability. And Fang Cheng thinks, it's so close to A-class strength, it's impossible to break free. And then Long arrives at that place, and seeing her coming forward, the Lone Wolf attacks her too. And it says, no one is authorized to interfere with the officials of the Demon Hunting Union. And Long sees the power of the Lone Wolf and thinks, damn it. There's a huge strength gap. And Fang Cheng says to the Lone Wolf, I'm not the Demon Lord, believe me. But Lone Wolf doesn't agree with him and says, with many clues connected in series, it is difficult not to make people doubt your identity. If you really want to prove your innocence. Just accept the test obediently. And Lone Wolf uses his powers to check whether Fang Cheng has any demonic aura inside him. And seeing this Fang Cheng thinks, if the secret of my demon transformation leaks out. Am I going to die here today? But the lone wolf does not feel any demonic aura from Fang Cheng and he thinks that's strange. It's not what I predicted. There's not even a trace of demonic energy in this kid's body, only the energy of a normal hunter. And the lone wolf says to Fang Cheng, it seems that I misjudged this time. You're free. And leaves Fang Cheng and starts leaving from there but Long Yue stops him and says, is this Cyclops just going to leave after bullying us? But Fang Cheng says, Long Guile, let it go. And the lone wolf says while leaving, I'll remember you, kid, I'll see you next time. But Fang Cheng tells him, I hope I never see you again. And Fang Cheng thinks, fortunately, he didn't find the power of the demon slayer. Long Yue comes to Fang Cheng and says, Fang Cheng, are you alright? And Fang Cheng says, yeah. I hope the demon hunting union won't wrongly accuse people next time. And then Long Yue says, Sai, there are so many things to worry about today. Why don't we go out for dinner tonight? And Fang Cheng agrees to it and thinks, Long Guile invited me to dinner? And Fang Cheng and Long Yue are walking on the street in the moonlight night and Fang Cheng is thinking, Long Guile is quite beautiful. Long Yue looks back shyly and sees a couple who are walking holding each other's hands and then Long Yue also does the same and says, Fang Cheng, let's hold hands too. And now both Fang Cheng and Long Yue are walking ahead shyly and Fang Cheng says to Long Yue, Are we on a date? And Long Yue replies, I guess. Kind of. But Long Yue is thinking, Muda Fang Cheng, why do you have to be so blunt? As soon as both of them go ahead, someone appears in front of them and it is Xiao Nan from the hunter's line. And Xiao Nan says to Fang Cheng, Fang Cheng, who is she? Long Yue also asks, do you know each other? And Xiao Nan thinks, I saw Fang Cheng at the hunter's union and thought he was single. I was planning to have dinner with him when I have free time. And Fang Cheng says, she's Long Guile, my classmate. Long Yue says, Fang Cheng and I are childhood friends. Xiao Nan thinks, childhood friends, so, my chances of getting close to Fang Cheng are almost zero. And now Xiao Nan starts leaving, then Fang Cheng asks to Xiao Nan, Xiao Nan, if you're not doing anything tonight, why don't you join Lise for dinner? But Xiao Nan refuses and says that I am going home and while leaving she says to Fang Cheng, when you're free, don't forget to see Vice President Ho Tai. He always wanted to teach you how to fight. And Fang Cheng says bye to Xiao Nan and thinks, fortunately, Xiao Nan didn't misunderstand anything. And when Xiao Nan leaves from there, Long Yue says to Fang Cheng, you seem like you don't want to leave. And Fang Cheng laughs and says, no way, we still need to have dinner. Let's go, there's a tasty barbecue restaurant nearby. And Long Yue says, I'm a little too energetic during the day. So Fang Cheng says, 
I'll carry you then. How can this be so embarrassing? And Longyue says, why don't we just do this dash? Fang Ching says, I said carry, not ride. And Longyue says, well, it's the same thing anyway. Didn't you always let me ride when we were little? When we were little. And now Fang Cheng remembers about his childhood, when he went to school. And once his foot slips and both of them fall on the path and Long Yue starts crying, Fang Cheng says to her, Long Guile, don't cry. I've got some chocolate here, eat it and it won't hurt anymore and after listening to Fang Cheng, Long Yue stops crying but both of them become very happy and now Fang Cheng thinks, before I knew it, Long Yue also grew up. Now Fang Cheng picks up Long Yue and starts running and after some time we see, Fang Cheng has eaten more barbecue and says, the barbecue at this restaurant is really good. But Long Yue is thinking, Fang Cheng is just focusing on eating. And isn't talking to me at all. And then both of them listen to some people talking and one man is saying, have you heard? A charred female body was just found in a nearby street. And the other guy says, yes, I went to the scene, and the body was hung on a pole. And the first man says, that's so tragic. They don't even know who did it. And after listening to the words of those two people, Fang Cheng says, my parents were also burned to death. Now that I've heard of similar incidents, I feel something strange. So Long Yue says, come on, let's go take a look. And both of them start leaving from there, it's really a wave of unrest, wave after wave. And as soon as they both reach that place, there are many people gathered there and then they see a body, hish. The whole body was burned. The murderer is so crazy, he hung the body on a pole. And seeing that burnt body, Fang Cheng says, the murderer burned the corpse in the street, probably to shock people and deliberately create panic. But Long Yue says, if I'm not mistaken. The pattern on the body's forehead is the symbol of the devil's church. And Fang Cheng also gets surprised after listening to Long Yue and says, the devil's church? And Fang Cheng is saying, I have previously seen information about the demon church online. It is said to be a secretive organization formed by a group of demons. And Long Yu also says that's right. The death of many civilians are said to be related to the demon church. Most of their members are high-level demons, they always leave behind an eye pattern at the scene after each operation. And Fang Cheng is thinking, my parents were burned to death on the street years ago. And now there are burning bodies on the street again. After these two clues connected, the truth seems much clearer. And then someone comes to that place, and he has a bag in his hand. And he drops the bag. And Fang Ching notices this thing. And fire starts coming out from that bag, and that fire starts spreading all around, seeing which Fang Ching asks Long Yu to run away. And now that fire starts burning everyone around it. And there is a huge commotion at this place, and everyone is running to save their lives. And Fang Cheng is also surprised, what kind of fire is this? And says to Long Yu, I'll go after the arsonist. And now Fang Cheng runs after that strange person, and that person also notices that someone is following him. And Fang Cheng quickly reaches him, and asks him, who has sent you? But that man starts burning himself. And Fang Cheng is shocked to see this, and thinks, they would rather commit suicide instead of surrendering. What kind of existence is the demon church? It can make arsonists sacrifice their lives. After this, Fang Ching comes to Long Yu, and Long Yu tells Fang Ching, he was just a puppet. The real culprit must be hiding somewhere else. And Fang Ching says, that's right. And there should be more than one puppet like him. And now fire brigade people come to that place. And help people. But at the same time some people are taking photos and videos of that place, and saying, don't panic, take a short video and post it online when something happens. So much trash burned to death. The smell of roasted meat. And after listening to both of them, a girl says, how can you make such heartless remarks? And a police officer is telling them, stop watching and leave quickly. Be careful, the killer might return to the scene. Fan Cheng and Long Yu are a little relaxed now. And Fan Cheng is saying, thankfully, the rescue team arrived. Tomorrow, 
I'll go to the hunter Linion and find Zhou Tai. He should know the truth about the burning incidents. Please take a leave of absence from school for me. And Long Yu says okay to Fang Chen, and thinks about Fang Chen. Does Fang Cheng really want to investigate to the end? The Demon Church is a powerful and terrifying organization. And the next day, Dong Lo's City Hunters Union. The chairman is training Fang Cheng, and the chairman is happy to see Fang Cheng's skill. And the chairman tells Fang Cheng, when you dodge the enemy's left punch, be careful of their right punch. And the chairman hits Fang Cheng with a punch. And says, remember, a soldier never tires of deceit. After some time, Fang Cheng gave up. And the chairman comes to Fang Cheng and says to him, Why are you so distracted today? Something's bothering you? And Fang Cheng tells the chairman, There was an arson incident in the city last night. You should know about it, right? And the chairman says, Of course, I know. From the method used in this arson incident, the obvious mastermind is the flame demon who set the city on fire five years ago. And after listening to the chairman's words, Fan Ching directly asks him about that incident, and says, Chairman Zhou, please tell me all the information about the flame demon. My parents were killed by the flame demon five years ago. I swear I will not rest until this vengeance is avenged. And the chairman says, since you are so persistent, I'll tell you. Five years ago, after killing 150 people in an arson attack, Flame Demon fled abroad under the cover of the Devil's Church. In the five years it was abroad, it has caused more than ten arson cases, and its strength has been raised to C-class. Now, after five years, he's back, and he's obviously got a lot more cunning. It'll be hard to catch it. And after listening to all the words of the chairman, now Fan Ching starts leaving that place, and says, no matter where he's hiding, I'll find him and cut him into pieces. During this time, I will be tracking down the flame demon and practicing on my own. I'll try to become a C-class hunter. And the chairman says to Fan Cheng, Good boy, you're ambitious for revenge. You're worthy of my appreciation. I look forward to seeing you get stronger. And Fan Cheng also says goodbye to the chairman, and also says, You just wait and see. After this, Fan Cheng leaves that place. And he comes to a weapon house, and buys many weapons and he think this experience is destined to be a hard battle, so I need to buy supplies and weapons in advance to be prepared. And then Fan Ching hears the news from a news reporter of a news channel. This report indicates that there's been many fire incidents in this city recently. 13th Street, East Side Bar, Center Hospital, three places were hit by arson attacks, with the number of casualties reaching 270. For your own safety, please avoid going to crowded places. And after listening to the news reporter, Fan Cheng is thinking, as I expected, there is more than one arsonist. But the news is not helping, the streets are still full of people, arson incidents are sure to continue. Never mind. My mission is to make myself strong first. Next, Fan Cheng goes to the daily convenience store to meet his sister, and his sister says, Fan Cheng? What are you doing here? So Fan Cheng tells his sister, I'm going to practice for a while, so I won't be home. And his sister says, you should pay attention to your safety. There's been frequent demonic attacks recently. And Fan Cheng says, just take care of yourself. Ordinary demons can't hurt me. Well, I bought this cell phone when I was shopping. It's for you. But his sister says, what a waste of money. And Fan Cheng starts leaving that place and says, take it. I won't disturb your work, sister. And his sister thanks Fan Cheng. And now Fan Cheng starts leaving that place, and Fan Cheng's sister is thinking, Fan Cheng is much more mature and outgoing than before. I hope he gets stronger and stronger, and achieves his goal soon. After this we see an abandoned suburb town. And Fan Cheng is thinking after seeing this place, according to the information from the hunter's line ion. There are many D-class demons hidden in the abandoned town, and there are even powerful C-class demons. Compared to the ruins of the city I searched last time, this place is much more challenging, and it's a hunting paradise. And as Fan Ching goes further, Fan Ching feels something, and he says, there's a fresh smell of blood in the neighborhood. It seems like I reached the demon's hunting zone. And Fan Ching gets ready to fight. And then a face spider demon attacks Fan Ching. 
and Fan Ching also senses that phase spider demon, and dodges the attack of that phase spider demon, and Fan Ching comes away from those phase spider demon. And then there is another attack on Fan Ching, and Fan Ching easily stops that attack, and thinks, there is another demon at this place. And we see that demon. And now there are two demons in front of Fang Cheng, and Fang Cheng says, a face spider and a night walker at the same time. I'm so lucky.